Hey photographers, what makes something interesting enough to take its picture? <laughs> Often it's something unusual, something that I've not seen before, something that I don't understand. <laughs> Why are these snails on this tree? Why is some of the sand on this beach black? <laughs> what kind of lizard is this? What created the pattern on this stone? And how did the rock formations at the Bats on Virgin Gorda happen? <laughs> Luckily, there are scientists on board this cruise on the Viking Octantis, and they're here to do research, make presentations, and answer our questions. And they're helping me understand and interpret what we've seen. Dr. Sam Mitchell is a geologist who specializes in the study of volcanoes. He's a volcanologist. <laughs> Sam. Can you help me understand the black sand on this beach? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so black sand is something that we find in many locations around the world and every sand tells a story. Uh, whether the grains within it, where they've come from, how they've got there. So with a black sand beach, it's mainly volcanic material that you may find that make it up. If you were to say take a scoop of that black sand in your hand and look at the individual grains, you'll see actually a range of colours, but when you see it from a distance or from higher up, it will look primarily black. So the black material usually comes from eroded lava or eroded crystals from within lava and volcanic ash deposits. So for example, in this image here, there's actually a mixture of material, some of it coming from the volcanic landforms up uh, further onto the ridge, and then some of it is also coralline material. So that is coming from corals down within the reefs, within the water. So you get broken material from the corals coming up from, by a wave action, and then you get broken material from the lavas on land coming to meet the beach. And it's in that region there that you find your black sand beach. That makes more sense now. In the next photo, can you help me understand the rock formations at the baths? Okay, so yes, these are a fascinating feature. These are the baths on Virgin Gorda Island in the British Virgin Islands. Uh, so the baths, when you look at them, they look like a jumble of boulders in the middle of, well, a, trop a tropical island that's not very high. There's no mountains nearby. There's no glaciers to drop off these boulders. So they look very out of place because they've not fallen from any location but they're actually originally part of one single rock formation, one single body of granites. If you're familiar with uh, Yosemite National Park, those big cliffs of granite that you find there, it's almost like a small version of this. And so what this is, is actually a smaller version of a magma chamber underground that slowly cools down and crystallizes over time, turning the magma into granite. And then over time, you have tectonic processes within the earth that lift up that granite body to the surface. Some rocks on the top may erode away and you're left with one large granite body above the surface of the water. But what happens over time, particularly in this region, this region is battered by hurricanes, wind, rain and waves over many, many years. So the boulders are actually an erosional process. So that is large blocks that have formed over time by a larger body eroding down. So you'll see a lot of these boulders are very round. Some of them have cracked open where they may have fallen. So that's why you get this very strange array of boulders in the middle of a tropical island. They certainly were photo worthy. Last one. What's this a photo of? So this is actually a photo of a piece of coral. Uh, that has been found on a beach. So a lot of the time on beaches, you might find very broken bits of coral or shell, but every so often during larger wave action, maybe during large storms, you get larger pieces that break off of coral reefs and are brought further onto land. So this is a, a particular type of coral that you get, which is what we call a colony coral. So it's not just individual strands of col coral, it's one single large mound. So it's essentially one large, organism, one large piece of coral. Thanks very much. So Dr. Mitchell is more than a volcanologist. He assists with many of the science programs on the Octantis, and he's one of many scientists on board. And they're busy with all kinds of activities, helping the passengers analyze microplastics in seawater, 
launching weather balloons, and making presentations when they're not hanging around Expedition Central for our questions. I asked how he ended up on the Octantis. For me, the Octantis was a real opportunity to combine a love of exploration of our natural planets and then also to deliver that the science and the wonder of our planet to guests, to the general public. And it's a wonderful way to engage people and to get people involved within science as well. So for activities that we have on board to allow people to get involved in citizen science projects over a range of subjects, so geology, glaciology, ornithology, uh, marine mammals, marine ecology, there's such a great opportunity to create a bridge between science and exploration and delivering that to the general public. So tell me, which of your experience on the Octantis so far have been the most interesting? So for me, my first time on the Octantis was also my first time down in Antarctica, which of course, for anybody who's interested in nature and science, it's one place you would always want to go to. So for me, this opened the opportunity to visit a place of the planet that I have never visited before, but then also to go there see it very very quickly and then also to tell people about it one of the beautiful things about learning about nature is that you can learn something in one location and then transcribe that to another location and so you can very quickly uh, develop a way to teach people about places that you may have never even experienced before now what qualities make the octantis an expedition ship Yes, yeah, so part of what sets an us aside um, as an expedition vessel is our ability to not just guide people within these regions and show them incredible places, but then to also have scientific achievements and goals on board that guests can get involved in. So on board we have a number of research projects with research partners and scientific institutions all around the, the world. So this is very much an international effort with many different scientists, different explorers. So we're looking at projects that look at uh, biodiversity, projects that look at the nature of our water, microplastics within our oceans, and then we're looking at other projects we can do in the future as well. So this is very much an evolving scientific experience for ourselves and also for the guests on board. A last question, what would be a volcanologist's ideal cruise? So to design a cruise for volcanology, you need volcanic islands. So that could be places within the Caribbean, that could be places in the Mediterranean, the Galapagos, for example. One thing that I would be very interested to do would be to sail around Tonga and some of the other regions in the Southwest Pacific and the volcanic islands we have there, where we have some very active volcanoes, but also some volcanoes that are extinct and have now become into the stage of forming spectacular coral reefs. So I would have to say the Southwest Pacific. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. Thanks for your time today. No problem. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So full disclosure, we are Vikings guests on this cruise, but Viking did not pay me. Tell me what to say or review the script or video before posting. I'm sponsored by viewers who have decided to become members. <laughs> Thanks to their support, my videos have no commercial interruptions. I don't read ads or allow YouTube to insert them into my videos. There's a join button below, but <laughs> subscribing remains free. All of my videos are available to everyone, and I reply to civil comments and relevant questions. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.